And, uh, you know, you guys have had a, you know, it's been a rough year for all police officers, but what's it like for an organization that has gains nothing from this other than the satisfaction of coming out and helping you guys? What's that like to get some barbecue from them today? Yeah, as always, um, these community partnerships mean everything to us. Uh, they are the currency we do business with in the community. Cameron is just outside of Kansas City, but it is so important to know that regionally uh, that we have the support of members of our community. Um, this group in particular, I'll just tell you a little story. They are very special to us. Uh, they came about one year ago uh, today. This is about the one year anniversary uh, of when they, when they came. We were just coming off some of the most challenging uh, times that we've experienced as a department. Um, the, the civil unrest and the rioting and looting that we had experienced a uh, mere matter of days before they were here one year ago. Um, it was something that, uh, that our department had never experienced before our community. Inside the department and in the community. And to feel that support uh, when they came a year ago, um, it really touched a lot of us. It was really important to a lot of us. Uh, so when uh, when they reached out and wanted to come back again, um, really, uh, really glad and really excited to, uh, to accept the Elks back here uh, to share a great meal with them um, and just uh, that, that they want to reach out to us and just provide this meal out of support. It means a lot. Guy, get, get his plate right now. He's in charge of PR. Oh, okay. He does all the interviews. Yes, sir. Thank you. And uh, 68 ra <laughs> racks of steak or uh, racks of ribs there. Goodness gracious, what made you want to go through such the effort? Well, it's for a good cause. These guys have been through a lot the last two years. Um, we did this last year. You were here. Um, we just think it's a good cause. Just let them know that people care. And uh, that's why I do it. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, when you, uh, you know, you guys aren't going to see these guys. It's not like doing this for the Cameron PD. You're not going to see these guys every single day. Uh, what made you want to reach out to the KCPD in particular? I, I think it all started last year with um, how things were going and uh, just seemed like the right thing to do. Um, as the Elks, you know, we, we try to serve the people in the community. And, um, it was just something we talked about. It, it, it spawned one night, and just we were sitting around talking about what we could do to help people, and we ended up here. And how long does it take to cook 68 racks of ribs there? A long time. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, um, I, I spent about nine, ten hours on them. Goodness. Uh, it, 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 but it was fun. Absolutely, and I mean, what's it like? It, it's wrapping up. I mean, what have your interactions been like uh, with the KCPD? What have those been like today? Oh, been, it's been wonderful. Um, everybody thanks us. Um, you know, they're they're just glad we're here. They they always say, uh, "Well, why are you guys doing this?" You know, because we appreciate what you guys are doing. I was about to say, you just won uh, four Diamond Club Royals tickets. Yeah, I was completely surprised. I heard them put it out on the radio that they were going to be uh, serving food down here. And uh, we just got done with some pretty serious calls. So I thought it would be a nice little break to come in here. When I got over there, the lady whistled. And I, was, and I was completely shocked. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as a police officer, you guys have had a rough year. Uh, all law enforcement has. But what's it like for a group like this, for you guys to come out here and just provide some free barbecue, absolutely no strings attached, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, we've had a rough go. It, the majority of the public does support the police department. Unfortunately, we're in an era where it's not necessarily the popular thing to say, but I can't count the number of times that we're out in the general public, whether it be in a store or just answering a call, you know, in our control division, where they just, people walk up to you constantly and just say, hey, thank you for what you're doing. I appreciate you being here. So, but seeing the, the outward support like this is comforting. I think it means the world to everybody. As you said, the last year has been very tense for law enforcement. And like I, I, I mentioned before, many of our supporters, so to speak, got kind of silent and didn't want to come out or be associated with the police. So to have people step up and be here and, and give so much to the members of this department, um, we're very thankful. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, uh, one of the officers uh, I talked to said, you know, this, this kind of thing is uh, it, it's really... It's something that almost hits you guys out of left field. Not that you don't get public support, but some something like this is a. Uh, I, I, he describes it a little bit more emotional than uh, than you would think. Kind of what is what's what's, what, uh, what's it about that? 
Well, I think that's, you know, it's going to the fact that it's been such a tough year and there hasn't been a lot of support. So to get this kind of support and have people actually come and, and put all this effort into just serving us lunch, I mean, it's it, I can't tell you how much it's appreciated. Absolutely. And uh, one more question, which is, uh, what you think about the barbecue? <laughs> oh, you haven't, I haven't yet. got it yet. I haven't got it yet. Just came down. So hopefully next step. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, that's all I got. I appreciate okay. you, sir.